Gino here and I wanted to share a quick tip for you. And in today's quick tip, I just wanted to talk about uh, featured images for website pages and especially for blog posts. Uh, oftentimes I see people using just random images with different dimensions. Sometimes they're right off of a stock photo site and the images are like 3000 by 4000 and uh, three megabyte files. And we want to be consistent in our featured images that we're using on blog posts. And we want them to not only show up consistently on our website, but we want them to be consistent on social media when we share them. So one great free tool that I highly recommend is Canva. Canva's a free uh, web-based graphic design uh, software system and you can sign up for a free account so I'm already signed up here so let's go ahead and log in I'll just show you around real quick what I love about Canva is not only does it come with several templates um, that are already sized in, in an ideal fashion we got Facebook posts Facebook covers Instagram posts social media uh, etc so um, you can pick one of these screen sizes and you can go in here and just pick a template that you like you can actually change the the text we could change the, the text uh, font family over here um, you can do all kinds of cool stuff we can go back over here you can drag and drop photos into the background um, you know right over here you can position it backwards so it's behind the text you can change the text color uh, so that it's clear just a lot of cool stuff here you can do with Canva you can bring in shapes um, background images you can even upload your own images here which I do um, quite often and you know just bring that over here and what I love is how it maintains the size the dimensions so you can actually it's basically cropping the image for you and uh, so that way you maintain dimensions so you can drag and drop an image Let's just say, for example, if we're going to do, let's go back home and let's just say I want it to be custom dimensions 1200 by 630, which is what all my blog post images are. I can actually create my own background image, find one either on here, free one. And as you can see, it's going to crop it for me. So I have the ideal sucks. So no matter the size of the image uh, in Canva, it's going to maintain that 1200 by 630. And then you would just go in here and begin to add your text, uh, blog post title, and begin to you know style it the way you want. Once that's done, all you got to do is go over here to download it. And ping is what's recommended. If you have areas that need to be have a transparent background, you would just select this tool, which I really love. Uh, it looks like that's with Pro though. Um, but yeah, so you click on download and you can download the PNG file. And, and it's all yours. And so great tool to use. Um, highly recommend it for all your, uh, if you don't have Adobe Photoshop, you're looking for something quick and easy to use. Um, this is a great tool to use. It's canva.com. Hope you appreciate this tip. Talk to you soon.